Hello. Bonjour. Tansi. I'm speaking to you from Government House in Regina, in Treaty 4 territory and homeland of the Métis. I am delighted to greet everyone participating in the 130th Annual General Meeting and Conference of the National Council of Women of Canada, taking place in Saskatoon, June 2nd to 4th. Congratulations on 130 years of successfully supporting, empowering and advocating for women in our country. I would like to offer an especially warm welcome to delegates visiting from outside our province. I know you have a very busy schedule, but I hope you get time to enjoy our beautiful province. The dinner cruise along the South Saskatchewan River on the Prairie Lily is a very good way to start. I want to thank the conference organizers for all their efforts to organize this conference and to present meaningful programs and discussions. I am a member of the Lac La Ronde Indian Band Though my wife Dawn and I have a home in Regina, in conjunction with my role as Lieutenant Governor, our permanent home is in Larange, where I grew up, about a four-hour drive north of Saskatoon. I commend the Council for focusing on the need for adequate housing in rural and remote areas of Canada, and for being concerned with issues around young people facing eviction and homelessness. In addition, I especially appreciate that the Council has for the last four years highlighted the theme of listening to, learning from, and acting on the recommendations of the Commission into Missing and Murdered Indigenous Women and Girls. I am grateful that your organization understands that it is everyone's responsibility to keep learning and to work towards reconciliation. It is wonderful that your group will tour the Wanuskewin Heritage Park. The park is unlike any other National Historic Site and provides numerous ways to discover more about the Indigenous peoples of the Northern Plains over the last several thousand years. I wish the National Council of Women of Canada much success with all your programming and events and thank you for all you do for the betterment of women, their families and their communities. In closing, I am pleased to bring greetings on behalf of His Majesty, King Charles III, King of Canada. In the spirit of reconciliation and friendship, I will also share these greetings in my first language, which is Woodland Cree. Thank you.